So I say not over the top, but stay behind the ball because if you take a piece of tape around this baseball and you have a kid that's over the top, but he's around the ball, the electrical tape is gonna wobble, right? So he's not staying behind the ball. He's not being the most efficient. You hear spin rate a lot, right? The new, the new terms. His spin rate is not the most efficient because he didn't get a, he got around the ball and he didn't stay behind the ball. So it doesn't matter if he stayed, if he throws on, on top. If he's not behind the baseball, it's not efficient. And it's not, it's not efficient, okay? But if I've got a kid, someone have a question? Oh, I was just saying, or as we're here. Because Correct. the ball will tail, right? Yep. Correct. I did that a lot with my son who was around the ball. And it makes it a lot harder to consistently find the strikes out of the fastball. Correct. Simple as that, yep. If you've got a kid that just naturally slots right here, that's fine. And this drill will help them understand if they're staying behind the ball or not. If that piece of electrical tape is spinning in a line, then they've stayed behind the ball. Great job, keep it up, right? Unless they're here, okay? If they're here and that piece of electrical tape is spinning in a line, I would, don't touch it, don't, don't do anything with that. That's fine. And because it's four seam, it may tail a little bit just because of the axis of the baseball, but you're gonna do more harm than good trying to get them up here because they're gonna, they're gonna make an adjustment somewhere else to try and get up here, okay? So that's one drill that I would do. It just kind of tells a caution between sidearm. It's not, it's not really sidearm, right? As long as the is above, low three quarter, low three quarter, three quarter, whatever it is, right? As long as elbow is above shoulder. Was there a Appropriate um, with that. I have one kid specifically who's got a good arm, he's a good pitcher, but he's always, he's three quarters, which is fine. He's always said, he's got a great curveball because he naturally comes over here, but he can't throw a fastball straight, a four seam. So he's always, we've done the tape. Is it going to cut? Does it's it a cut natural it? cutter. It's never, he has to throw it inside to get it outside on a right handed batter sort of thing. It's, have, we we mean, feel like we've tried everything and like, it's just. It's that sounds stuff. like. Yeah. I, I not, think not that, like. Yeah. yeah. How he's holding a baseball right okay. now is going to play a big role in that. If he's repeatable, and to right. Josh's point, I'm a very big fan of arm care. Okay, of what? Um, arm care. Okay. Oh yeah. Right. So inside your packet, I stole it from the Dodgers. You guys now have it. I literally jacked it from Doctor Job's office yeah. when I left there, <laughs> and I do it every day. Um, it's, it's arm exercise with a water bottle. My wife hates it because there's always a water bottle and. and it's got to be okay. for drinking, yeah. literally so that I can do my jobs in the morning. Huh. So the point of that though is he may be holding the base. The grip is very, very important, right? What is that ball going to do versus that ball, right? And their fingers, to Josh's point earlier, you know, they're, they're relatively smaller, okay? So they have to be comfortable with holding that baseball, right? So that's important, you know what I mean? Some kids, and, I, and, and you mentioned curveball. Um, my, my biggest pet peeve is a curveball for a kid that's that age, right? I am encouraging them to find success in a good old changeup. And you can be amazed at what a changeup will do as far as movement goes. Not as sexy as a curveball at, at 8, 9, 10. But I played with those kids that were doing that at 8, 9, and 10 that needed Dr. Job not for exercises, but for Tommy John. The guy I'd never got in front of had four of them or five of them. I don't even know where he was getting the rest of those tendons from. <laughs> but uh, the point, he, he was able to find a way to get through it, but the stress he put on his arm. And the one thing, Gagne and I didn't talk a lot, but one thing he, I I'll always remember was, why did I throw that curveball? He, he threw a palm ball for both of you that don't, it was filthy. It just was. He throws a 99 mile an hour fastball and a palm ball at upper 70. It was a changeup, glorified changeup. He only needed that pitch, really. The fastball was just an accompaniment to that, that pitch. So, early age, you know, encourage them not to hurt themselves, right? That you're stewards of that at this point. If they're doing something that's going to negatively impact them, longevity wise, I have an opportunity to correct it. And that's the one thing that I wanted to impress. It's a bit early, but it was a moment. And so it, it's just maybe how he's holding that ball. But the arc slot and, and move, natural movement 
give me his name. I'll talk to him later, you know, and see if he wants to play. But I love movement as long as it's done properly. So, and, and maybe it's, he's holding a two seat. You know what I mean? It could be that simple that he's just got a little bit of a cutter grip on him. I always kind of releasing here, like just even saying, like, get behind the ball, it just never sticks. You know, it's like just always. Yeah, just trying to get him to get behind him. Are you catching it when he's throwing it, or are you seeing yeah, it? Yeah, I've caught plenty of plenty, but I mean, but a little both over yeah. the years. We've pushed him for years. And, it's, yeah. it's a little different angle yeah. from the side than it is from back there. And I spent way too much time catching these boys, but just because no one else would do right, it. Right. And I'm sure you'll all be there at some point, but you see a whole lot more from this angle than you do from down there. That's good. Okay. So, so if you're doing the electrical tape drill and everything looks fine with the arm slot and the and and the, the tape is not spinning the way it's supposed to, what do you what do you do? What do you suggest? Yeah, good 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 question. So again, it kind of goes to your question. There's no quick fix, especially eight, nine, twelve. There's no quick fix, right? The only thing that you can do is encourage them to try and continue to do it correctly. And at some point, it will they'll see the ball spin the way it should and then try and capture how that felt, right? Have them, we, we tell the star boys all the time, catch. play catch with different grips all the time. Move your feet, just move your fingers around. Put pressure on the index finger, put pressure on, and that's probably where, you know, where I would start with, with your boy is put pressure on the, a different finger to get them to, pronate, supinate, whatever, without actually doing it with the arm or the rest. Um, but it's, it's, it's pressure points, it's grip of the baseball, are you too far to the, are you too far down here, are you too far here on the horseshoe, are you, are you really across, are you, you know, how is it turned, are you too far in the pump, like there's so many different things, we don't have enough time tonight to talk about those sure. things, it's just encourage them to continue to stay behind the baseball. Okay. Pressure evenly, pressure inside pressure, whatever it is, until they until they're getting it. It's not going to be perfect, um, but just continue to have them work with it. One thing I have some of the kids that I give lessons to is go home and just flip a baseball at night. A kid that is struggling with grip. Uh, one kid in particular, I, I, a high school kid, I'm giving lessons to. He cannot throw a changeup, and I said, okay. This week, every night before you go to bed, I want you flipping 50 changes to yourself. You're laying in bed and you're just gonna flip it up into the into the ceiling every night, 50. Just to see how that feels coming off and there's no pressure on your arm. It's all fingers, it's all release. It's all, how, how is it coming out of my hand? Within two weeks, I mean, this kid has a crazy, crazy change up. Um, it doesn't work that quick, obviously, with eight, nine, ten-year-olds, but it's it's something you can try. You can make big 